set take five rolling one action <laughs> no now nah, we just the one again What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley here again. I'm a YouTuber based in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. And today I have my first guest on my channel. And they are my sisters. I mean, who else am I supposed to bring to my channel first if it's not my day one? So these are my sisters. This is Kels, a.k.a. Mini Mummy. Mm. <laughs> and this is a Berry, a.k.a. Street Fighter. Really? <laughs> Really? So guys, these are my sisters and mm. today we're going to be answering some questions that would um, you guys will get to know me and them and me more and them a little bit and the day I'm uploading this video, which is tomorrow, 8, we'll make it 15 years we lost our dad. So mm -hmm. I'm going to try not to make this video emotional, but we're going to talk about my dad a little bit and just have fun. Oldest and who is the youngest? She's the oldest, then there's me, and she's the youngest. Mm -hmm. So that's how we are. But there's a guy in between the two of us. If you've seen my first video, you know that I said I have three siblings. So there are four of us. There's a guy in between us. But as sisters, it's her, me, and madame. So that's how we are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Second question, what do you like about your sister? You go first. Um, if it's concerning her, I like that. Her who? But she did. Me. Okay. Yeah, I like that she is um, caring and she's ready to defend any of us at any time. As in, she doesn't care whether she even has the strength to beat the as person. As in, that's why I call that she would just fighter. ginger. As in, as in, the ginger is always on the highest level. Then concerning you, Ashley, um, I like that sometimes you can crack some jokes. I think both of you can make everywhere so lively sometimes. Aww. Like, you remember those times that we used to dance? She can just wake up and start, just stand up and start dancing, funny dance. <laughs> the music is in our head. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. Okay, you? Um, I like the fact that you, you are a go-to person at any time, irrespective of what you're also going through. And I like the fact that you are caring and you're always there. Mm -hmm. Okay, for me... What I like about her is what I call her AKA. Like she has tried to be mommy for as long as I can remember. It's not like anything happened to my mom or, or anything, but she just felt the need to step up at a really young age and said like looking out for us in terms of, you know, making sure our clothes are our uniform that time when primary school our uniforms yes. are clean, our socks is intact, you know, we're eating what we're supposed to eat and stuff like that. When then yeah, when we are supposed to eat. Then for her, like I said, street fighter, she's always out to defend us. Like, she doesn't, she's the youngest though in the family, but she's ready to beat any ma ma ba ba for us. Like, she does not care. So, yes, that's, that's cool. something I like about her. Now, the next question is, what don't you like? You first. For you, I told you, yeah, you know this. Really? Yes. Do you don't agree that I'm nosy? I don't agree that on that. She's That's because nosy. you are the older one and I'm the younger one. How? So how does that... So how you think I'm not nosy, nosy to her? She says she doesn't know that you're nosy. Yeah. So you might not be nosy to her because she's the older one. Okay. But you're nosy to me because I'm the younger but one. But I only ask questions because I'm looking out yes. for you. But if it's how you feel, no problem. I'm not going to change. I'm not going to I'm stop. I'm not saying you should change. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So and fine, then, I'm nosy mm -hmm. then. And then you, there are some things you shouldn't give so much importance to. That she does, yes. right? Yes. Like, yeah. I There's no know. point in giving an exam. We're so not here to wash our dirty or... laundries mm. outside. But yeah, when it comes to things that I don't like, I agree with her on you. Like, there are some things and people you shouldn't give an F about, but you do. Mm. Like, just let, if the person wants to fall inside gutter, let the person fall inside gutter. It's still part of learning, it's still part of growing. growing Even yes. for us, like once in a while, just put your emotions aside and just let us do whatever we want to do. Okay. And, you know, I'm not saying that you should allow us to enter mm. dungeon, no, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, just the fact that you, you, it's almost like you care too much and that has a disadvantage. Yes. Then for you, 
is your stubbornness. Oh my God. This girl is, her stubbornness is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Level. It is spiritual. Like she needs deliverance. We need to take her to a nature, if you know what I mean, for deliverance. Yeah. So yeah, her stubbornness. You, what would you say you don't like about us? Um, for her, she, um, the malice kid, yeah. Yeah. Um, once you scold she can't keep her, malice for Africa. I don't. I don't understand. Just keep malice, or once you're not on her side, then she'll be like, "Oh, so you can't be on my side? Okay, I will not talk to you." Uh -huh. And then that's the end. <laughs> then for you, hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. if there's nothing really? to say, let's move on. Really? <laughs> what? Really? What? Yeah. It's possible you don't dislike anything. How does it feel? 15 years after losing daddy, you go first. Mm. How does it feel? Like, is it less painful? It's, Have you it found can peace? It never be less painful. You only learn to live without a person. person. Yeah. Because I remember one time, I even had to even stop talking so much about him because somebody told me one time, like, ah, are you not tired? You haven't are you serious? Yeah. Having to forgotten about your dad. And somebody else now replied, do you know what it means to lose a father uh -huh. or to lose a mother? You never get, get over, over it. it. Exactly. You, how does it feel? Um, it feels empty and doesn't feel empty. It doesn't feel empty because we were we've got into the four of us, including Junior, including Mom. And then it feels empty when it comes to family issues. Making decisions, that fatherly, okay. like during your wedding, yeah. you really felt it. Yeah. So it feels empty and it still doesn't feel empty. For me, if I'm being honest, it's actually more painful than it was some years back. Because at first, the first few years I was in denial, I just shot the pain out of my life. Then, but becoming a wife, becoming a mother, all these things that I would have wanted to experience with him is now bringing... It, the pain back like, it's almost like i'm starting to lose him afresh so 15 years later it hurts like it was just yesterday it's like it's now that it's dawning on me that okay this man is not here to carry your daughter to make your daughter laugh to dance around the house with your daughter you know those yeah, fun like things he used to like do with us uh -huh. yeah so it. it's painful jerry what memory comes to mind first when you think about him <sighs> This is going to be funny. I intentionally did not allow them to see these questions <laughs> so that they don't prepare their answers before this. This is going to be funny, but one of the things I like about him was when I go to meet him and I say, um, Daddy, I need pocket money. You know, he will allow me to finish talking. And the next thing you hear is pocket money. Do you know what is called pocket money? Are you going to just put this in your pocket? <laughs> and then he just goes on and on, and I'll just be like, that thing. Okay, I so his money. jokes is yeah. like one of the first thing. Yeah. You, Iberi, what comes to mind first? Um, it's not a pleasant memory, but I remember one day I was the only one at home that too has gone out. So I carried all the empty containers in the house and took downstairs around to fetch water. <laughs> but when I got downstairs, I left it and I entered our neighbor's house. I was watching film. <laughs> So by the time we finished watching the movie and I came out, I didn't see the bucket there. So I thought, oh, somebody finally came home and fetched water. By the time I got home, I saw it was only daddy in the house. And he beat me and said, don't you ever carry containers out and say you want to fetch water. For me, what comes to mind first is, um, remember how he used to dance? When he plays music and he will forcing mommy to dance with him, and yeah. he drag her up yeah. and he dancing around yeah. the parlor yeah. with him. That's the first thing. Every time I'm having good, um, I'm thinking about him, but not oh I lost the first man I ever loved. No, mm. when I'm thinking about you know something comforting, that's the first memory that comes to my head. Him dancing like I, as I'm talking about him, I'm closing my eyes. Yeah. I can see him dancing around the parlor and all that, and my mom blushing and acting like she doesn't want to dance, but she's actually <laughs> enjoying it. You know, so that's the first thing that comes to my own mm. mind. Um, okay. How did he feel at first? Mm. Like the 
as when you got the, the news how did it first feel time I did. got it I felt I had lost something because he was like everything yeah you guys were yeah, pretty close. We were close he was so for you how yeah. did he feel the first time I think you, you had before any of us yeah. sitting here so how did he feel the first time um, I didn't really understand what was going on. Yeah, how old were you? I think you were 12. Yes. Oh, so you were young. It felt like, I always felt like that is coming back. Mm -hmm. I always felt like maybe I'll wake up one morning and then I'll go to his room and then I'll see him there. Yeah. Or sometimes I'll be in the parlor and then I'll be thinking the next knock I I'll hear him. on the door mm -hmm. will be him. So that first two years that he died, it always felt like he oh, would real. come back. Yes. Yeah. For me, the first feeling I felt when I think it was Pastor Alabi's wife that told yeah. me was fear. The first thing that I felt was fear. And I think that was what well, that's how my anxiety started. I don't remember having yeah. anxiety before that he died. I think that's when it started like where do we because he was a big part of our life yeah. now. Like he Very does a lot of things yeah. from domestic work to even you know even homework, yes, like homework, all those yeah. things. Like he was a really involved father so to now hear that that person that does everything for you with you is gone like i got scared like how am i going to cope in school who is going to you know teach me some things who is going to talk to me about boys about life who is going to crack jokes and all that like even though we didn't have the best of relationship compared to what we what he had with them because i don't know why exactly <laughs> but I, he was a huge part of my life he was a completely present father in all ramifications so i felt fear that was the first thing that i felt i didn't feel grief for a long time like like i said i shut the pain out so it was just fear that I was moving around with like a zombie for a really long time so yeah that's how you felt at first fear um when in the last 15 years have you missed him the most like what has happened in your life within this last 15 years that you really 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 wish he was there let me go first my wedding i missed daddy during my wedding like like you guys don't know this but i cannot count how many times i went to the bathroom to cry when, when we were living before anytime maybe i get a call that so thing is happening like during the process of my yeah, traditional yes, wedding all the all the roadblock that we met mm -hmm. i'll just why isn't why daddy why didn't you just wait at yeah, least let me get married so yes at least let me get married before why didn't so for me, last 15 years, I missed him, missed him the most during my wedding. You went? Um, I miss him every day. Yeah, but there must have been one that, oh my God. Um, I missed him when I wanted to enter his high institution. When we were contemplating on what school, what um, course. What school, what yeah, course. I think I also felt it that Even time. Even when I eventually got admission into Landmark University, I was offered sociology. Yeah. But before I resumed, mommy still said, okay, he said, let me go back and change to international relations. And then I felt it because if he was there, even mommy still says it that he's think like this, that I miss your father. He yeah. Know where to put he thinks you. on his yeah, feet. Yeah, he's just, PCA, yeah, you know, yes. Yeah. So for you, when would you say you miss him the most? Well, for me, I think I miss him the most every day. And, um, with what's happening in my relationship now, mm. yeah, you miss him the I most. Miss him now. Oh. It is well, as our mother will always say. <laughs> <laughs> then, um, on a lighter note, what do you have in common with your sisters? I think I can answer for all of us. Okay. Yeah, I'll say what we have in common the most is our love for movies. Oh. I don't think there's anything that unites us like movies. Yeah, like like when you said we're going to watch movie, and I was like, oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nothing <laughs> unites us like movies. Um, I think being domesticated and tidy, the way I arrange things. Yes, I being so organized. Dad. Yes, 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 it's from dad. Yes, from dad. Um, for me, I think it's that need for peace, for understanding. Mm -hmm. That's daddy was really calm like he knew how to put his emotions in check I, I don't know about you guys but i do not have any memory of daddy quarreling with anybody do you yeah i do when uh, but because of me actually 
No, I'm not talking of when he goes to quarrel people for school. bullying us or okay, teachers. I'm not okay, talking of that. Okay. That one, they look for his trouble. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just maybe like neighbors, all those kind no, of necessary no, drama. No, that, no, or even no. with mommy, like no. all that in here. So, yeah. and I think, I think daddy did not like conflict. And I think that's the same thing with me. Like, I try as much as possible to avoid conflict, except you step on my toes. Like, on your own. There are some things you even say that normally now, someone like you would want to react. And yes. But me, I'll be like, it's not worth my energy. Mm -hmm. So I think I got that from him. And dancing. Oh. Seriously? I'm used to dance. Yeah. But I dance too. No, I mean to know, know how to dance. Not know how to dance. Not just be dancing anyhow, dance. Uh, if, if you say so um well for me the thing we have a like is we tend to look after everybody yes mm. i wanted to but i wanted her to be the one to say it's that need mm. to take care of everybody, everybody yes. you, you got that thing from daddy like i know yes they say don't be selfless and all that but it's, it like nikki family. minaj said selfish people live the longest like just once in a while just put yourself first so yeah i'll say you got that from daddy um what will you want your f the father of your children to do differently from what daddy did to do differently yeah from what daddy did if you don't think I there's think anything there's no hmm. can i say something yeah well okay what i will want the father, the father of, of my children to not do yeah Daddy exposed us to horror movie at a very young <laughs> age. How old was I when I watched Charles play? To me, it was okay. No! Yeah, I was with it. It wasn't okay. Now I can watch a scary movie inside a dark room alone. And then when I say it, it's hey, But it's good now. Now you're not scared. But now you're not. It has been weird. Hey, but that's your problem that, now. That is them thinking you're them, weird. Yes. But it's a good thing that you're not scared. If, if my husband was exposed to horror movies at such a young age maybe i won't be having the problems i'm having right now and by now I would have watched living in bondage because of he does not we've not watched part two of living in bondage so it's probably a good thing for you but what I, i'll say daddy did that i would not want you know victor to do to nora and any other sibling that comes along is i think daddy was overprotective yeah we loved yeah. it as kids but when i think about it now I, I didn't love it as a kid. Oh, you know, I used to be. Yeah, the one that daddy was overprotective. That like he yeah. he tried to protect us, you know, a lot emotionally, overprotect us physically, and yeah, maybe the physical part was really necessary yeah, because we some people were. Home, it's like well, he's also protecting us from his people. Yes, protect us from bad news. As in, it was just we lived in this bubble for such a long time that when we now became adults. It took us a while to struggle with reality mm, yeah. or to even know okay this kind of wickedness exists this kind yes. we didn't watch nigerian movies so and i did not even know that like, humans are ca capable of because nigerian you, movies actually on, teach a lot yes. Yes. but i did not watch any nigerian movie until i became an adult like it's only living in bondage that time that and it was just that one movie so it wasn't enough for me to know that oh that people do blood money was, was even by force uh -huh. yeah, someone so close to you can use you as ritual mm -hmm. i did not know that so we were in that bubble of the life is perfect you know everything we see on cartoons and all that is what the world really is we're all princesses there's a prince charming somewhere let her know <laughs> that there is wickedness in, in this world, world. Yes. Yes. that the heart of man it's is wicked. desperately wicked so yeah that's something i would not want the father of my children to do you what would you say yeah but i think i also have a tendency of being like that so i don't know no i'm it's not going to be like that you. don't worry i will expose them on your behalf <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah i think that's the part that you know okay know. okay oh this but video is becoming longer mean, than i wanted it to be daddy oh. used to read minds a lot i didn't like that how? I, I was okay with it though. I was okay with it because it helped me open up to him about something. Like he will, he will ask how are you and you say fine, but he but will he know that you're fine. fine. Uh -huh. yes. And I think it was a good thing because he will now push me to, you know, talk about what I don't want to talk mm -hmm. about. I mean, I wish I still have people like that around me that when I say fine, they, they are seeing beyond that. my fine that yeah. mm -mm, something is up. Okay, to so something light again. Whose room is always a mess? No, it's not like a mess mess 
and not like men of you know smelling and all that no. just scattered like she will mop her room she will dust everywhere you will not see doors i mean my house is even dirty compared to her her room but to arrange clothes arrange shoe in a, just arrange thing. things is just mm. so yeah her room is always the messy one um who was that favorite i know this thing will bring argument why do you think you were that favorite do you think so? Because number one, I'm hitting last thing. <laughs> you don't agree done. that she was favorite, right? I'm not. Well, done. daddy tried so hard not to show anybody was his favorite. Mon, I'm not saying I'm the favorite, but we're really close. That because you were his first. Eh, hey, oh, and yeah. you too because you're last. You're so last. you people are now. What are you now saying now? I didn't use less that. as I'm in the middle. <laughs> I didn't say so. So well, what you do you want? Who was daddy's favorite? Eh. And it's Okay, in your own opinion, right? That's your own opinion. In everybody's opinion. No, no, no. You no, cannot no, no, force no, no. your opinion on someone. Exactly. My opinion. But that's what you're doing by saying that. is, oh my God, we've brought this in on camera is rolling. Let's not show ourselves <laughs> here. But in my own opinion, hmm, I just think Daddy had a soft spot for you because you're the baby of the house, yes. which most parents do. Daddy had a soft spot for you because you're his ada, which most parents do. Yeah. Then for me, I feel like. For the fact that daddy and i always went like this is actually because he also has a soft spot for me but the, his best way for showing is yeah, pushing me hard like mom. Uh, do, yeah. is that thing true sure, that I fathers wish. love sorry is that thing true that fathers love their daughters that look like their wives yes. Yes. daddy did have you know i used to daddy taught me how to be very observant and to notice things happening around so i used to no, as in there are some things that he says I just know. Oh yeah, he loves this one. Oh, <laughs> God. oh God! I, mean, I just thought like maybe because he could see that if I don't watch this girl, she will become <laughs> problem. So that's why he was like hard on me and no, all no, that. No. So, so good to know, Sha. Who is mom's favorite? Me. You always say you. I'm everybody's Everybody. favorite. Hey, that's what always you say. always say oh, you're, not you're not my favorite. favorite. You're, not, you're my favorite. not my favorite. Are you fried oh, chicken? Please. You're not my favorite. <laughs> Who said like I'm fried chicken? Are you fried, Are you fried chicken? chicken? Oh. So you're not my favorite. <laughs> but in my own opinion, again, I am mom's favorite. Oh, yeah, she is. How? No, but she is. Mom, Why is she mom, mom's favorite? Mommy made mommy is in denial of that fact. But it shows how <laughs> this is the best down. day of my life. Let me break it down for you, like so you understand that I am not just saying it because I'm the one in the matter. Okay, first and foremost, like she said, I look the most like her. One, two, I like to believe, I like to believe, allow me to brag for a minute though, I like to believe that I have made her proud the most like in what like I, i'm taking after her husband's career so i'll probably remind her more of her, her the love of her life than any of you that you're doing uh, on, on on top renewal mm -hmm. so who lives with mom then, longer it's not about living about then living let me mention the most important part our mom is an Igbo woman a typical Igbo woman that does not joke with her money so <laughs> Who has more access to mommy's money among the three of you? No, just she has agreed with you. Just just answer currently as we are speaking. Yes or no? Who has access? I said just yes or no. It's you. I'll take that as yes. What so matter? With end of end of matter. End of, I am I my mom's agree. favorite. Bam. It does not matter. Who is Jay's favorite? Me. Jay is our brother, our elder brother, her younger brother. So, who do you think is Jay's favorite? And why do you think you're Jay's favorite? What's there not to love about me? Oh uh, I said I'm Jay's everyone's favorite. Jay's I'm the baby. Well. I'm, the, I'm the funny one. Who will call you and be singing for you over the phone? You're amazing. Oh, I know this last, myself. You're sorry. amazing. No and denial. When did he tell you that he loves wait, you? Wait, wait, wait. Do you know, does, do you know? He tells me all the time. You're right. Yeah. Um, I can show you our last chance. Okay, fine, fine, fine. You want to accept that your junior's favorite? Yes. But in reality, if you're using what you use that time as you lived the most with mommy, mm -hmm. I have spent the most time with junior. Like, we went to the same secondary school. That's six years. No one can. Like, 
is it six years three years we we're not in the same class so it was mm -hmm. three years but yeah i have more in common with junior than you guys do that's for sure but in my own honest opinion i think kels is his favorite why why because he looks out for her the most i you know i've lived with them longer than you have lived with them he always feels the need to protect her even though she's older mm -hmm. he looks out for her the most and as she chopping money pass don't, because don't, I don't ask. She, she doesn't even don't ask. She doesn't need to ask. She doesn't need to ask. Because he I just, don't say it. He also sends me money out of the blue. Yeah, out of, your own is out of the blue. Her own is steady in the money green. Is it like it's, okay, it's, okay, it's, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. I shall know that I'm not his favorite. I shall know that. But it's okay, Junior. It's okay. And I, know it's I still me. love you. Regardless. Mm. Regardless. <laughs> I still oh, love you. Jesus. You have not been sending me money since I got married <laughs> but I still love you <laughs> um, next question who are you closest to among the two of us I think that would be you okay who are you closest to among the two of us you really really okay oh god I'm having such a good day <laughs> oh god <laughs> So guys, this has brought me to the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed filming it for you guys. Um, and please, before you go, tell us who your favorite sister is in the comment section. But remember, this is my channel, okay? This is my channel. But yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and till I see you next time, stay safe. Bye. Bye.